Hey everyone, Sean from Grayscale Gorilla here. In today's quick start, I'm gonna show you how we can get the most out of our new car paint materials. After you've installed these guys through the Grayscale Gorilla Hub, go ahead and fire up the Plus Library and you will see that they automatically load. And of course we have them for Arnold, Octane, and Redshift. And I'm gonna just dock this guy into my UI here. And let's drag this first one, Blueprint Blue, right onto our body components I've isolated here on this Corvette model, which you can snag off of CG Trader like I did. And if I just fire up the interactive renderer, you should see here in a second what we get. A lovely car paint material out of the box, looks awesome. This dark emerald is definitely one of my favorites. I also like this crazy green. Looks pretty sweet on this Corvette. And one of the benefits of the way we've set these up is that you have full control over the colors, flakes, clear coat, all of the parameters you can get in here and play around with. So if I dive into this closer camera I've set up, we can get a better look at these flakes. Now, one important parameter of the flakes is the scale. So we've gone ahead and set up a couple custom nodes for the scale of the flakes to give more precise control. Right now, this has a value of 0.251, and I can crank up the size a little more here so you can better see what's going on. These flakes are much larger than you'd want for realism, but this gives us a better idea of some of the control we get when we dive in to the actual shader here. And you can see here, we have a nice density parameter. If I drop this down to zero, we have no flakes. If I crank it up to 0.47, we have a lot of flakes. Another parameter to play around with is the normal randomize. And this guy here kind of controls like the virtual angle of the flakes you could think of. If it's at zero, they're gonna feel very flat. And if it's cranked up here, they're gonna feel all over the place and extra sparkly. If I hop out of the close camera here, we can see what we're getting here. If you wanna go for that kind of a look, extra sparkly. You can get in here and play with all these parameters to your heart's content, including the colors, of course. If we wanna switch this to more of a teal blue, we can easily do that. You can see that. Each car paint is made up of several colors. And here we go, this looks pretty cool. And if I go back into that flake scale here, I'll definitely wanna put this down to a more realistic value, something like 0.25. And of course, this is dependent on the size of your car in 3D space, so if you bring in a much larger vehicle or something that's not correctly set to scale, the flakes are not quite gonna be set up correctly. So by default, they're set up to real world scale. Um, so that's another thing you just wanna keep an eye on. Make sure your car models are set up at the correct scale. But yeah, I'm gonna turn on this other HDRI. And this actually turned out really nice, this blue. If I hop back into the Plus Library, we have a couple other really fun ones, specifically these camo wraps turned out really cool love these guys snow camo this one's awesome that's just a quick look at some of the new car paints and we cannot wait to see what you all create with these thanks again